Hi everybody, this is Amit Kumar and I welcome to Click With Tutorial. Today, I am going to show you a new concept called Pareto Analysis. And we will understand what are the requirements of Pareto Analysis and in which scenario it is created and what is the outcome of the Pareto Analysis. Pareto analysis is useful for prioritizing the problem areas. It is one of the basic tool or you can say it is one of the widely used tool for quality control. This Pareto analysis or Pareto chart is also called as 80 by 20 charts. So on the screen which I am showing here, this is an example of a Pareto analysis. And we will see the step by step approach for creating this parrot analysis in this real time scenario. In this chart, I do have list of the products which is listed in the x axis and the complaints received against all the products. Okay, and in this red color line chart, I am showing the percentage of the complaint. Okay, out of the total complaint. So this is how the Pareto analysis looks like. For this, we have to choose a combo chart. So let's begin with to create a new chart to achieve this type of scenario. I have created a new sheet. Now I'm going to use the table which I which I have been uh, created in my data model. So in my data model, I do have a table. This is for the TBL Pareto. I have created this table. Okay. Now in this table, I do have two fields: product and complaints. These are the different products: basketball, caps, gloves, rackets, etc. Now they against those items. These are the basically the sports item against those items. I do have the complaint received from the customers. Okay. So we have to create this kind of table in order to do the analysis. The major motto of this analysis, as I said, to prioritize or to focus the problem areas of our data, okay, or the problem areas of our cells. So let's use this data and start creating a Pareto chart. So for Pareto chart, I have to use one combo chart go to chat then I have to use a combo chart first of all I have to use this uh, table where I can use this product as my dimension all right then going next I have to use the expression as sum of complaint complaints So very simply, I'll just have to create and since we are creating a first dimension, which is a list of the complaints and this is the major and in this case, I have to ensure that the accumulation should not should be no accumulation. There should not be any accumulation in this. Go next. I can use this chart as it is. Next. You have to ensure the first expression which we have used, the position should be left bottom. I can use multicolor or say I would uh, use, say this is the first one. I would use this one. All right. Now in sorting, I have to use the Y axis descending. Okay. Y value that means my complaint descending from higher to lower my complaints will be sorted over here. Uh, 
all right so expression that's fine integer okay i can name it as character analysis so now it's become a very simple chart which showing the list of the products in my x axis and the list of the complaints against it these are the list of the complaints this chart give me fair idea on this is a, although it is a combo chart i have used one expression so it's giving me a fair idea that uh, these are the products in the x axis uh, where uh, t-shirt is having more complaints and uh, you know uh, others are from high to lower they are sorted now for exactly Pareto analysis i have to find out the problem area what exactly the problem area is and what is the percentage of the problem area out of the total okay so in order to do that i have to add a second measure over here okay so let's see the second measure should be the pers uh, you know the percentage of the complaints okay how do you create the percentage of the complaints here in the parent analysis so total complaint and versus percentage of complaint i would like to show here go to expression here you have to add one more expression add the expression should be sum of complaint sum of complaint divided by total complaints now how do you find out the percentage so percentage is calculated in this manner like whatever you have achieved out of the total value right so if your sum of complaint against a product is x divided by the total complaint will get you the percentage so here i am going to use sum of total complaint so this is a standard way for creating any uh, value which should, should be having the percentage right sum of total percentage uh, total uh, complaints all right so this way i can find out the percentage of this now i should name as like this percentage of complaints now i do have to use this second measure as a line and this is only be possible if you are using a combo chart so since the first measure i have used a, a bar chart here the presentation is bar the second measure can be chosen as the line so i have chosen this as a line the type can be smooth or normal so i have just chosen this as a normal then i have to use a symbol over here say uh, i can use this square fine now one remarkable thing uh, we do have to uh, consider here is since this is a percentage i have to use this as a full accumulation we have to ensure this has to be full accumulation then i can have the values on top of the data point i can choose this so that against this bars i should have the values all right so i got two things so first measure should not have any accumulation it should be no accumulation and second measure should be full accumulation all right so we have chosen the first uh, measure as a accumulation no accumulation and second measure should be fully accumulated now next property i have to go through is sort in the sort we have to keep this y axis as descending that's fine and in the axis 
I have to just segregate this like the complaint which is showing in the x axis and left bottom against that the percentage complaint should be right top okay right top so this way I have to select Now let's see how the outcome is, is going to be generated over here. It doesn't look good. I'll just simply uh, remove the data from the expression. So the first would be there, but second doesn't require because it's having the percentage. Great. So, in order to show the percentage, I have to just go to this. Yeah. How I did the percentage because the percentage was was showing in uh, you know 0 0.5 0 0.9 like that so I had to go to this uh, you know percentage complaint and then you have to choose this number as integer and then show in percentage so I just made it show in percentage and one data is showing in number whereas another data is showing in percentage all right. So now the t-shirts whose complaints are 8, 10, you can say the percentage complete, complete is 31%. So I've got uh, the data in the either both sides of this chart. So it's total 100%. So uh, I can see uh, this is my problem areas where these are having the you know uh, complaints are this much and the line which is represent the percentage is this much so this is basically the percentage of the complaint out of the total complaint right so this is what we call as a Pareto analysis and as I said Pareto analysis is useful for finding the problem statement so here in this chart a t-shirt and uh, globes are having uh, more complaints so that by considering this chart management uh, would uh, take a decision that these two products need a uh, more and you know deeper attention you know basically more attention on this okay so this is how the Pareto analysis can be done so whatever the further you know beautification and the further properties you want to give you can give in this to give a final touch like i have given this as a percentage In the presentation, I want to show the legend position to the top. I just brought it to the center. Well, uh, this is what we call as a Pareto analysis. So I hope uh, you would have liked this session and thanks for watching. Keep uh, following us. Bye-bye.